Again, thanks for stopping by Bell Certified. Uh, we just concluded a video where we talked about a chain of uh, 102E references uh, being able to use an earlier filing date to be able to um, invalidate a target patent under 102E. Um, and now let's look at some limitations of what those chains are. Uh, again, under 102E, we, um, uh, under 102E, the the target um, is being invalidated. We have a uh, typically a a patent reference that's either an application or a patent that is published after um, the filing date of our target uh, but it was um, filed before and um, say it was filed here on this date and that's a 102e reference that's the requirements it either has to be um, published or issued I published if it's a US application issue or, or granted if it's a US patent um, now uh, we talked about a chain of applications um, let's say that this target patent was able to prove a reduction in practice back here and therefore the invention date was there and we notice that this application indeed was filed on this date, but it claims uh, priority to a uh, application maybe that was filed here. Um, and uh, maybe it claims to a another application that was filed here. Okay. Now, so uh, there's a couple of um, uh, let's call this uh, earlier uh, um, reference E1 and this is earlier filing date uh, E2 they're both earlier filing dates so if you notice the uh, that the the um, this is the constructive reduction to practice we've talked about uh, which is the presumed invention date until a reference comes in that's uh, a prior art reference. In this case, it is a 102 event because you had a filing date, so you were required to prove a earlier. The inventor of this was required to fi prove an earlier invention in order to swear behind this filing date. And and so the applicant then noticed that they had an earlier filing date here, and then an earlier filing date here. And indeed, if they can get back to this filing date, uh, then they uh, then that's a 102e event. Um, so let's look at some examples here. Um, what if uh, E2 is, in this case, e, let's say E2 is a, uh, it's a foreign. Now what's a foreign? Or a regional? Uh, a regional would be like uh, an EPC application. That's an EPC. A forum would be like, you know, France, Germany, uh, Great Britain, uh, Japan. That's those are nations, right? They're foreign nations. Now, if this um, if this E two reference is a foreign or an, or a regional, like the EPC, then then the reference you can't use this for for it because 102e requires a US filing date. If you know if you if you look at uh, 102e it says the invention was described in an application for patent published under section 122 by another and here's the keywords filed in the United States before the invention by the applicant. In this case uh, here's our invention date uh, that they're able to prove and this is not filed in the US before this invention date right um, and similarly if they weren't able to prove earlier conception here um, this also uh, 
uh, this application here would not be filed on the application um, in the, um, the as a foreign this would not uh, be a US filing date if this were a US filing date here uh, then that would uh, be better than the construct direction practice but if the applicants able to prove a, uh, a reduction of practice or conception uh, uh, plus diligence before this prior art event date through to the reduction of practice uh, then it, um, this would not be so even if this was a US filing date uh, you can still swear behind it um, by uh, doing a reduction of practice uh, or proving earlier invention um, so uh, that always holds true um, but now let's look at another let's say that um, Let's say that let's say that E two is a um, then the second case. Let's say that E two is a PCT application. Now again, we have a we have a um, a published or issued reference that has our invalidating language. It was filed on this date, but claims in this case to a um, an earlier filed family member. Um, which claims to an earlier filed family member. In this case, let's say that e E1 is still a U.S. non-provisional patent application. It's a U.S. application. Um, but say, let's say that this is a PCT. Um, at the bottom of, um, of, of 102E, it says the following. Um, except that an international application filed under the treaty defined in section 351A shall have the effects for the purposes of this subsection of an application filed in the United States only if the international application designated the United States and was published under article 21 of, uh, of the PCT treaty in the English language. So um, so if this is a P this actually could be the equivalent of a US filing date um, if three requirements are present, um, which you'll see in the reading materials. The first is the date. If this PT filing date was filed on or before, I'm sorry, on or after, don't need to confuse you anymore, if it was filed on or after, in other words, this date in time or later, um, then uh, and uh, the U.S. was designated and it was published by WIPO World intellectual property organization, WIPO, um, then this is a U.S. filing date. And even though, because uh, you can bridge back from this, this remember, the, it's only U.S. patents and applications uh, uh, under 102E, uh, and the only exception is a, um, we'll also you know, learn that if this, if this is published, uh, which it will publish, so it's only a, uh, under this rule um, if um, if this file is filed on or before November 29, 2000 and the U.S. is designated and it's published by WIPO in English I forgot to write English here then that is that says English by the way then this this is a filing date so so you're before the constructive reduction to practice. The party, uh, uh, w you know, you found this reference, and then the party proves reduction to practice, and then you prove, you know, these three elements in a PCT application, and you've got a U.S. filing date. Boom, you got prior art. Um, that's the main idea of what this is. You can't get back uh, a piece. Uh, a foreign is not, or a regional is not a PCT. A PCT. Uh, is uh, the Patent uh, Cooperation Treaty. And um, in the reading materials, it'll talk about it. Um, now, uh, there is uh, one other um, 
possibility if 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 this is filed uh, if it's if it's filed November twenty eighth um, or before this date or before uh, then this is only a U.S. Uh, um, actually, no, this this would the filing date of this would not be the uh, the prior art date. Then the three seventy one C one two four date is the date you would use. So, at some point later, um, when uh, this U.S. application is either a national phase entry or claims priority to the PCT, one of those two. Um, and it's uh, the United States Patent Office will award a 371-24 date, which will be on the face uh, of this um, of this U.S. Uh, uh, national, I guess it's a... Um, National stage is what it's called, uh, patent application. Um, then this, and w then when this patent over here uh, issues, not just published, but only for issued patents, then that's a p then that is a uh, this date here uh, would would serve as the the earliest date for one of two uh, e uh, purposes. And so um, you just have these two dates you have to remember. And one is the filing date. And, and the top one here, number two, this PCT application gets the filing date. Um, and uh, and if, it's, if, the, if, if this date is, if this filing date is before, on or before this date, then when this uh, U.S. national stage or benefit claim um, uh, gets a 371C124 date, that's the date that becomes the 102E date. Um, and of course that that date wouldn't be as early as the PCT filing date, uh, but it will be on the face of the patent. Uh, the issued patent would have the 371C124 date uh, generally. And so those are the, that's what the reading material is about. Um, that's the general idea. There's some, there's some nasty exceptions and whatnot we'll go through, but uh, that that's the main ideas we wanted to cover. Thanks for stopping by. This is Dan Bell of, of Bell Certified.